Hey, welcome back to Midas Letter. My guest this segment is Brad Rogers. He's the president of CanTrust Holdings, trading on the TSX under the symbol TRST. Brad, thanks for coming back again. Thank you for having me. Brad, what do you make of this market? Why, why all the weakness? I think there's a little softness because uh, people are waiting to see what's happening on the international side. I think Canada has uh, played itself out and the, and the dominant players are, have established themselves and I think they've been rewarded for that in the market. Hmm. But I think uh, the international piece is where everyone's looking okay. and I think that's where uh, p people are focusing their efforts right now in, uh, in terms of international expansion such as us. We just uh, did a deal in, uh, in Denmark. Uh -huh. uh, we've got a licensed producer over there and uh, it's very exciting for us. They have access to 75% of the pharmacy market over there, and that's where the distribution channel is. And so, very cool. Uh, that's exclusive. How, uh, how, what are the laws exactly in Denmark right now in terms of, is it medical, is it recreational, is it? So, and, and this is where CanTrust really shines, because where, what CanTrust has done has been very focused and disciplined on, on medical. We've standardized all of our products and pharmaceutically standardized all of our products. And so uh, when framework is built around cannabis in the, around the world, um, they typically start medically. And so that gives us a real good advantage within those, within those markets. Mm -hmm. So we're excited about going into Denmark under the medical banner and with our Cantrust standardized product. Right. I think the market largely underestimates and underappreciates the significance of your relationship with Apotex. Right. And Apotex is one of the world's largest suppliers of generic. <laughs> Seventh largest in the world, largest in Canada. Okay. Uh, they're in 115 countries around the world. And right. so, uh, you know, that wherever it comes up in terms of framework around cannabis, we have access to those markets. So for Apotex, CanTrust is the cannabis provider of choice. CanTrust is the cannabis provider of choice. That's an exclusive agreement we have with them, which is very exciting. It's a product development deal right now. Wow. And uh, so we're, we've roadmapped our product development cycle for the next uh, three products. Uh, we've got enteric coated capsules, we've got nasal sprays, we've got patches. Uh, and so very exciting for us to be able to access that pharmaceutical grade mm -hmm. uh, quality with the Apotex partner. They've got, uh, we have seven PhDs or eight PhDs now. Wow. Uh, they have over 130 PhDs. And so to have access to that uh, human capital is amazing. It's been, it's proven itself uh, to wow. be very valuable for CanTrust. Incredible, no doubt. So in terms of the, I guess, all of your raw material, ingredients, supply, the premium flour that's mm -hmm. going to go into that channel is all going to be made at your facilities in Niagara and in Vaughan? Correct, yeah. And so we've uh, we've brought on phase one in Niagara, which is very exciting. And you were down there. Mm -hmm. I think you yeah. saw they saw a little bit of that phase two. One of the two most is, traffic videos we've ever made. Yeah, so I, I, that video is a great video. Um, and so we're bringing on phase two, mm -hmm. and phase two will be up uh, Q2. And so that'll be producing in full uh, 40,000, conservatively 40,000. We think we can outperform that because uh, our, uh, our growers are that good. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a Apotex channel that's in 115 companies, 40,000 kilograms per year surely is probably not even enough for them. Correct. So do you have a phase three and four coming? We have, uh, we've planned 600,000 more square feet mm. and that's, uh, it can go right on our site in Niagara. So we have 46 acres, licensed acres. Wow. Uh, we are on 10 with our 430,000 square feet right now and uh, we have lots of room to grow. So we're planning 600,000 more right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to wait to see what uh, outdoor cultivation looks like as well. So that might be an option for us down there. Outdoor. Uh, and so when you look at our 75 cent gram that we're producing at right now in the mm -hmm. facility, uh, that may go to uh, 25, 20 cents per gram. And so that's so 75 uh, cents a gram is your all in cash cost per gram. Cash cost per gram and production in, uh, really? in Niagara. We expect that to be uh, lower than that at some point when we get uh, to full, huh. full capacity and full efficiency. Sure. Now let me ask you, does that include sort of zero costing cost of sales based on biological assets? So, repeat that question. <laughs> well, so we had Al Rosen in here. Al yes. Rosen's a forensic accountant. He, okay. he says that the, that the ACMPR growers who are reporting have audited financial hallucinations. Right. And he points to the, the sort of mechanism mm -hmm. of creating the appearance of near zero cost of sales <sighs> by attributing the value to biological assets in the vault Right. And also in, in, in the grow. clone stage, yes. exactly, no, as that, yeah. fully realized in terms of what they're worth on the balance so that's sheet. that's IFRS stuff. And, right. And uh, look, you know, you can, you can cut that six ways. There's, there's been companies that, out there, that are out there that have uh, sort of tried to distill that for uh, the, the investors. Mm -hmm. um, to us, 
all of that stuff is, 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 is necessary. I think it'll play itself out when people get to capacity, when all LPs get to capacity. Um, but in the meanwhile, I think what's, uh, what's important is EBITDA. Right. Right. Let's let's look at the bottom line. Let's see who's producing and who's profitable. And that's right. how that's a testament to your organization. I mean, the accounting trickery and all that stuff that's going on right now. We don't pay any mind to that. We we have to report on it because sure. uh, it's regulatory. Right. Uh, but beyond that, what what we look at is real fundamentals. And when you look at Cantrust fundamentals, we are one of the most fundamentally sound, judicious companies out there. Hmm. I think we'll leave it on that, Brad. That's a great finish. Thanks for coming in today. We'll <laughs> come back to you me. again soon. All right, James. 